Hi, Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. As you can see from my other videos, I talk about the vagus nerve all of the time. Today, I really want to focus on the vagus nerve and gut health and how our optimal vagus nerve function is really going to drive our digestion, our assimilation, our elimination. So stay tuned for this video so you can understand all the reasons and benefits of why optimizing your vagus nerve will help your gut health. We first want to remember that the vagus nerve is 80% of our parasympathetic nervous system. Think of this as our rest and digest. So for us to really have optimal digestion, we have to be in a calm state. We have to be in a safe state. As we remember from the anatomy of the vagus nerve, it's exiting the brainstem, innervating the face, the throat, or even branches into the ear, comes into our heart, and most importantly, it is innervating our entire digestive tract. So that is why it is so imperative that when we see gut motility issues, gut health issues, we really want to look to the vagus nerve to see what is happening here. Is someone under chronic stress, for example, or they experience trauma that might be contributing to their poor motility, their enzyme activity that ultimately leads to gut health issues. So we're going to discuss eight different ways that the vagus nerve is involved in your digestion. Number one is it's going to upregulate our mechanical breakdown of solid food. So this is really important because most of us are eating solid foods unless you have some kind of medical condition that warrants you to eat softer or period foods. But being able to break down our food before it enters the entire digestive tract is really important. Otherwise, we can have a whole host of symptoms from reflux to bloating to flatulence and so on. Number two is it stimulates the secretion of saliva. When the food enters our mouth, that is our first step in the digestive process. We have our salivary glands that are going to release salivary enzymes. This is helping to break down the food before it enters the esophagus. Number three is it stimulates your digestive enzymes coming from your pancreas as well as bile from your liver. These, once again, are very important in breaking down the food appropriately so it can continue to pass from the esophagus to the stomach and to the small intestine, large intestine, and to be ultimately excreted. Number four is with optimal vagal tone or high vagal tone, it's going to allow for proper accommodation of the food in the stomach. This is where we're going to have hydrochloric acid that is helping to break down the food even further, especially our proteins. Number five is it slows gastric emptying. This is really important because we don't want the food to pass through the system too fast because we wanna make sure we're getting proper absorption of the nutrients from the food that we're eating. Number six is it coordinates the motility of the intestines. So when we are, when food comes into the small intestine, that is where we're getting absorption of our nutrients. But then it has to pass through to the large intestine, which means that this is where it's ultimately going to be excreted via the rectum. So we want to have optimal motility. Our migrating motor complex is very critical in the small intestine, which creates this wave-like action to help move the food through to the large intestine. So very, very important action. Number seven is it decreases inflammation and intestinal permeability. That is also referred to as leaky gut. So when we do not have proper function of the vagus nerve, proper motility, uh, proper assimilation of the nutrients, then what can happen is we can have these tight junctions in the epithelial lining of the gut that all of a sudden aren't tight anymore. So we have these spaces between which allows pathogens and toxins, bacteria to move through the bloodstream, igniting the immune system and causing this inflammatory response. So this can cause a whole host of chronic health conditions. Number eight is it increases satiety. So if you have optimal vagus nerve function, optimal vagus nerve tone, you are going to be able to recognize when you're hungry and when you're full. When this is disrupted and you have low vagal tone, often you will see it's not, it's very hard to determine when you're hungry or when you're full. You may eat too much, you may not eat enough because you're so stressed. So this is a really simple but important concept in terms of weight loss and overall health and performance. As you can see, the vagus nerve has a tremendous 
impact on our digestive system. It is innervating the entire digestive tract. So if you are experiencing chronic stress, low vagal tone, you feel frustrated, angry, worried, anxious, you might be in a freeze state frequently, then this can really influence your gut health. All the things that I mentioned as it relates to functions, if any or all of those are affected, then that can contribute to many different gut issues that we see from leaky gut to SIBO to other chronic health conditions. So it's really important to think of this from a global and integrated perspective and that in order to improve our gut health, we also have to improve our vagus nerve function. So please make sure you check out all my videos on vagus nerve hacks so you can really begin to regulate your own nervous system. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. If it was helpful, definitely give it a like, give it a share with a friend or family member, and of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement. Until next time.